Good morning. You're on day six of 30 days of intentions. Um, once again, I'm trying to beat the clock before everybody wakes up in the house because it's a complete loud mess. So uh, yesterday I wasn't doing well. I was anxious, sad, emotional. Uh, I spent a lot of the day just kind of fighting back tears for no reason at all. Like trying to diagnose it. I got nothing. It just, it was one of those days. So I accept it for what it is whatever, moving on. Uh, I did manage to just um, press through my day and kind of uh, get as much done as possible regardless of how I was feeling. So for my health, I don't, I didn't do anything intentional. I didn't have any intentions with anything I was doing. I was just um, existing. So I didn't meet the mark on that one. As far as feeling connected goes, I uh, I guess whenever you're just feeling like shit, you just turn to your pets. And so I had to spend a lot of time playing with the dogs uh, a lot more than they're probably used to because usually I'm like back and forth. And I'm like, okay, we'll stop and we'll do this for a minute. Then I got to go. And yesterday I was like, give me everything you got so i'm sure they were loving that and i did too i loved it it helped me get out of my head and get out of my mood uh, i ended up cooking a big breakfast for the girls uh, i ended up working on a project with my son and it was really fun and i had been pushing it off for a couple of days because i just kind of wasn't in the right headspace and uh so i finally got to sit down and hang out with him and i love hanging out with him and so i tried to with all the kids just connect with them and laugh with them and play with them i danced with the girls a little bit uh until my back started hurting but whatever and just all in all trying to have a good day with everyone uh, and it helped you know i still went in and out of those like all right now i'm happy now i'm gonna cry now i'm happy uh but just giving everybody my time and allowing them to give to me helped out and so it worked and then as far as my purpose goes uh the goal was to do things that would make brian happy and i think i did that and i kept it in mind um, you know, when I was going through my ups and downs and feeling the feelings of like, yep, I'm just going to go and lay in bed now. You know, I put on my uniform. My uniform always reminds me I'm at work. So I worked and I found my joy along the way. So it all worked out. Uh, and then, so going with today, I'm trying to set intentions Brian is off today, and so it's hard to have any intentions when I just wanted to spend my whole day with him. And then sometimes if I am working on one thing, I am easily redirected if he wants my attention. So it's hard to like set intentions when it becomes sort of a day where I'm at his will. And uh, one thing I do have a hard time with on his days off are, um, I sometimes get in this like all or nothing, like I'm either going to be next to him and doing things he enjoys and hanging out with him, spending time with him, or I'm going to completely shut down. And it's like a day off for me. And so I don't have to talk to anybody. I don't have to cook for anybody. I don't have to clean up after anybody. I don't have to do anything. And I'll spend the whole day just completely in my own world, disconnected from everyone, doing whatever I feel like doing, which is usually just like working on projects that I want to work on that I don't necessarily have all the time in the world to work on. And I end up abandoning him and leaving him to do everything when this should be a team sport. Even if Monday through Friday, uh, during the day I'm doing a lot of it, when he comes home from work, he picks up and he starts doing stuff too. Therefore, on the weekends, I shouldn't consider it my day off and leave it 
100% on him. So that is something I absolutely need to work on and I need to set intentions just like I would any other day so that he's not stuck doing everything while I just, it, you know, I mean, it's good to have time to just focus on myself. I do enjoy that. Um, and that is the benefit of having another adult in the house, but I shouldn't abandon him and leave it all on him. So I got to work on that. So, uh, today, number one, I should go on a walk. And I know I say should because I don't want to, but I should. I should really ask him if he wants to go to the gym or something, but I also really don't want to. I don't want to, but I should mention it to him that I want to go on a walk so that a walk does happen. For number two, I think it's going back to embracing the family again and just taking it all in and realizing that while I do enjoy the solitude, it's also really nice to be surrounded with people who are happy and happy to see you. And just, I need to dabble in both of those worlds. So today I will not lock myself away and leave it all on him. I will be engaging and all of that good stuff. Today is not a day off. And then for number three, for my purpose, I want to work on my real estate classes and I want to, um, I finally finished my last final yesterday. So the semester is officially over and the way it's fucking college works is, yeah, I paid for the online uh, access to my textbooks, but they don't have a, um, you can't buy the book. Like when you go online, wherever you look, you can rent the book. You can rent the online version, you know, you can rent the paper copy of it, but everything has to be turned back in. So I'm going to lose access. So I really want to make sure that I go through and read and take notes. And like I had said before, I want to find the things that apply to me and make note of them before I lose access to the material, because then I'm just going to have regrets. I'm going to be pissed because I bought that shit and I should be able to take something away from it. So those are my intentions for the day. If you want, you can leave yours in the comments. And uh, like always, wish me fucking luck. Bye.